Hi everybody, welcome to Meditate With Marie, where I am going to attempt to record for you an articulate video, the third in our series of It's A Colourful Life. I've just got Bramble sniffing around in the background. I've took a little bone off her that she's chewing just for the sake of the quality of the video. So hopefully she'll settle down in just a second. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for um, all the comments and the conversations that have occurred since we started this series. There's been quite a lot of people I've been chatting to in real life and they're enjoying just discussing colour. They're enjoying talking about it. So our third video, we're going to focus on the colour red. So it's a primary colour, it's a warm colour and it is uplifting, but it's quite a strong colour. So it, um, it brings about these attributes of strength, of um, stability, security, steadiness. Um, it's also quite a grounding and homely colour. It's a really good colour to use around home, especially in living areas like living rooms, dining areas, and also in the bedroom. Um, however, red is a colour that can be very, very strong and it can also, what's the word, signify or resemble or um, it can just, I can't find the word, but never mind, it just brings that sense of like danger and caution with it. Just think um, stop signs or danger warning signs, they can be red. So used too strongly, red, it should be approached with a little bit of caution. What I'm saying is approach it subtly and gently because it is a strong colour. Now that's a good thing, sometimes we need that strength, we need that supportive quality of the colour and it is a really supportive colour, very supportive colour. Um, it supports love, it promotes passion and it enhances sexual attraction. You might know this from the colour red. Um, it's also associated with the attributes of the root chakra here at the base of the spine. This is the energy centre within us that is connected to our sense of foundations, our physicality, our strength and security, all of those kind of grounding sensational feelings. Um, Hi to anybody who's joining us live on Facebook and Instagram. It's nice to have you here live. It's a really nice evening here in County Durham. The sun's just setting. It's been a beautiful spring day and we're not far off the spring at Um, So anyway, let's come back to the colour red. We can use it in many ways. We can not only use it around the home in an interior design kind of way. That's the modality or the tool or the technique that I'm going to focus on bringing in today. So in previous videos, we went over how we can use nature to connect to colour and within the clothes that we're wearing. You'll notice I am wearing elements of the colour red, um, but we can also use it in our interior designs. So if you're new to my channel, you won't know this, but if you've been with me in videos past, you may remember that the wall behind me was painted red. So this is my um, living area. Dining room is kind of connected. When I first moved in, there was two red walls. The rest of the walls are a neutral light color. So it did have that very nice, secure, homely, grounding feeling. That was very ingenious, Bramble. She's found an alternative frame to chew on. Genius. Just wait, just wait. Um, so yes, I had red walls, just two of them. So not all of them. If the walls, if all of them were painted red, it would be too strong, it would be too much. And if we were around it too often for too long and too strongly, it can have an, sort of almost like a negative impact. It can make us feel a bit agitated, a bit irritated, a bit angry. You know that kind of saying when people see red, they're angry? That's where it comes from. So that's why it's good to use the colour red in a more subtle way. So um, these walls are gold now, this is gold wallpaper, but you might see behind me on the sofa, there is still some red cushions and I still have red candle jars. So there's some red candles there and there. If you're on Instagram, you might not see them on the, the edges of my screen so clearly, but if you're on Facebook, you do. Um, I also have red crystals around the home. This is a piece of red jasper that I have right here. Um, 
funnily enough, Bramble this morning decided to um, pick a red toy out of her basket and just leave it on the floor. She doesn't normally play with Santa. It's a Christmas present, but she doesn't normally play with it. So that was really funny. My dog is aligned, although not right now. <laughs> um, I also have this here. This is my favourite mug. I like a bucket mug rather than a little tiny teacup. And you probably can't see it, but I'll try and bring it a bit closer. It says home sweet home, and it's got a little circle of red flowers. So there we go. It's a big white mug with little bits of red, just little. So that's how we can enhance those qualities of strength, homeliness, security um, within the home. You can always use it in other ways. You know, if you want to accessorize with red, I've got little red earrings in little bits of red in my clothing. If you want to feel a little bit more bold, if you want to be more assertive and more ambitious, you can use the colour red to strengthen that. So I want to go back and just talk a little bit about the origins of colour therapy. In my first video or my intro video, I may have mentioned that it dates all the way back to ancient Egypt. So our ancient ancestors knew that they could use colour in a holistic and healing way. They would literally paint chambers. So imagine within the pyramids or within the homes or within public spaces, they would paint all of the walls in certain colours and these colour chambers would be used for healing purposes. So red is a colour that stimulates energy and blood flow within the physical body. Um, if you suffer from low blood pressure or fatigue, for instance, if you need that like stimulation of energy and that increase of blood flow, you could bathe in the colour red. Now bathe as in, actually I suppose you could put red stuff in the bath, but really more the colour. If you're in a colour chamber like the ancient Egyptians, they would just lay in it for a little while, breathe in the colour, let their subconscious mind absorb the qualities of the colour, and it would bring up their blood pressure, it would bring up, bring up their blood flow and it would stimulate them in that healing way that they needed. They wouldn't stay in it for long. Um, and likewise, you could do the opposite with cooling and calming colours. If you had high blood pressure, for example, and you wanted to bring it down, you could use the colour blue, but we'll discuss the colour blue specifically in another video. Um, so the colour red, it's, well any colour, it doesn't just work with your mental and emotional states, it can work on your physical body too. So the colour red supports, um, it supports ovulation and menstruation as well. So for the ladies, the females among us, if you have any kind of like stagnancy within your blood flow or your menstrual cycles and you feel like that needs a bit of stimulating, you can use the colour red to support that. It can bring in that little bit of health energy, that improvement energy, that uplifting, just a little bit of something to help you within that area. So again, if you, you know, we're not bathing in colour chambers, but you can bring it in in little elements, clothing, crystals, aromatherapy oils, even your food. But we will talk about that in later videos too. So feel free to use a bit of red in your life this week or for any of the purposes that I've just discussed. Feel free to bring it into your home. Um, I don't know why, because I haven't checked this back, but I seem to kind of remember or recall that the Chinese use it in Feng Shui for maybe luck it might be a lucky colour to bring into your home, but I would have to verify that. I could be wrong. Apologies if I am wrong. Um, but certainly if you want to make your home more homely, more warm, it's a great colour to use throughout the winter. You know, we have red pyjamas a lot throughout the winter. Let it warm you up. Let it stimulate your blood flow. Let it bring you out of your fatigue or your lower mood. But again, use it cautiously, cautiously, use it subtly, use it gently, you know, balance it with a lighter, more neutral colour as well. So thank you very much for being here, for listening, for um, <laughs> not being too distracted by Bramble, I hope. I hope this video has brought some kind of value or quality to anyone that hears it or watches it. Please feel free to share it with anyone that you think might benefit from hearing this or might be interested in hearing this. Feel free to comment below and let me know how the colour red resonates with you. Um, remember, 
If it's not your colour, that's not a problem. You can take it or leave it as and when you use. But hopefully this is just a little example of how you can use the colour red and how we can use colour as a tool to enhance, improve our well-being and our health. Thank you very much. My name is Marie. I'm going to send you lots of love and say goodnight. Bye for now.